everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Kutarot. And this is going to be uh, Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and uh, Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for April 1st to April 6th, uh, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Aries star sign. And uh, for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and level with uh, every single different Aries. If you want a uh, personal reading with me, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings, uh, which are starting from just as little as uh, $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the, right, for, the, for the live readings. So that set aside, going to the general uh, Aries tarot reading, the first card which is marking the topic of your week Aries is that is going to be the four of cups followed by the second card which is um, <clears throat> describing the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the five of uh, swords then we do have the positive approach toward the situation this is going to be the tree of swords and the last one that we do have that is uh, the Final outcome of growth, should you take the, adv the advice of Tarot here, the guidance of Tarot with these couple of cards, that is to be the Six of Pentacles. So once again, Four of Cups followed by the Five of Swords, then what we do have is Three of Swords and the last one that is going to be the Six of Pentacles. So it seems that uh, this week is going to encourage you to try something anew <clears throat> or to improve a thing into your current environment. Uh, that is just the cumulative uh, vision that I do have upon these cards, but let's go every single each card one by one in a more deeper interpretation and also drawing one additional card per position. So Four of Cups, uh, by its nature, the Four of Cups the signifies, you know, boredom and sitting on one place. But the Four of Cups, this point as well, that a, uh, <clears throat> an opportunity is around you, but there is a danger you missing it. And at that point, uh, a mental effort needs to be made in order one to seize that opportunity. And as I said, this opportunity is not going to be related into something brand new, but it's going to be related to you improving the circumstances into already going ordeal, like... Um, improving the circumstances into your marriage, into your relationship, or into your career. And even if things are going very well there, because the Four of Cups does not say, you know, that you are going to be desperate and as well, um, kind of like despondent and so on and so forth. Uh, the Four of Cups does point that throughout this week, you have to uh, aim for more because the four of cups is the card where one is just consuming the final fruits of their labor and from there they need to improve if not through circumstances on their own you know their situation either career wise or either relationship wise as well the accompanied card here that is going to be the king of wands which is the formation is passive neutrals and uh, with the king of wands here uh, you don't uh, you will not need anybody to point you a, a finger of direction pretty much everything is going to be clear uh, and as well, you are fully going to understand the seriousness of the situation itself and how uh, ne necessary is a certain improvement into the marriage, into the relationship or into the career ordeals. And as well, knowing that this is going to consume a lot of your time because with the King of, so of Wands here, definitely the consumption of time is going to be quite big if one is ready to do those mental efforts you know and, and, and as well material efforts that is one is going to severely stir their uh, their life environment and situations as well at hand the point with these couple of cards however one more once more is that you should not follow anybody's lead but it's rather you have to define your personal expression into those uh, into those endeavors either related career wise or either related relationship wise which leads us to the next card that will be the five of swords marking the negative approach toward the situation and exceeding one's limit it is the negative approach toward the situation yes 
you can improve your situation, but as well, you have to be very grounded about it in a sense of that you should not chase fallacious goals or celluloid dreams there, okay? You have to be very practical and as well, very mindful or of how much one thing is going to take in order to be developed. Because in, in, in this negative position, the price that you have to pay for something, and I'm not talking only about money, I'm talking also about emotional involvement, you know, time, effort, and so on and so forth with the five of swords, maybe more than you anticipated. It may be more than you actually know. And that's why you have to be very mindful and very strategic when it comes to uh, defining how you should um, uh, expand on your environment, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, that is. Uh, one more thing that the Five of Swords here points is that uh, you should uh, not rely way too much on your uh, friends to help you in any way. Uh, first of all, they may require a, a big payment for the service and as well with the Five of uh, Swords, you may expect a bit of hostility from people that you are associating yourself with, either because they will not gonna be pleased of that you're trying to expand yourself or because they're gonna be jealous of you expanding yourself. The thing is that you should not be, um, how can I place it, hurt by uh, unright or wrongly put criticism from those people uh, which are around you, especially talking about career, you know, that card could signify as well attacks from your co-workers and you should not respond to those attacks whatsoever. The accompanied card here that is going to be the devil card, uh, formation is active enemies and uh, with, with the devil here you have to realize the amount of, uh, of, of power that you are to possess throughout the week, you know, to make that expansion of yours. But also the devil point that you have to be very decisive when it comes to making, uh, making a moves. Because uh, you cannot simply backtrack uh, with the devil here into, uh, into this position. Once you make your mind, once you make your move, and especially once you do something to, uh, to advance forward with that decision, it will be almost impossible to, uh, to backtrack and to correct those actions. Nor that, not that those actions are going to be rather wrong or right, but maybe you do some actions, you know, and um, along the way of performance, you kind of like start thinking of they, they, that could have been something better to be done. And that should not be a standpoint of yours, but rather, you know, just be unyielding or stubborn, if I may express myself that way. I don't know how to, how to describe it really, but yeah, you may experience throughout the week that sense of that you made the wrong choice there and that could uh, provoke uh, hectic, hectic and uh, erratic behavior of yours, which is to jeopardize a lot the uh, the trust and the rely in the sense of reliability that people has in you. So this leads us to the third card, which points what you should do throughout the week toward the topic three of swords, and that is the key card showing that this opportunity is not going to be regarding something new, but is going to be in the current. Um, ordeals that you are going through because the tree of swords is about healing here and making the things right you know you've had a poignant experience into this endeavor before and that poignant experience should be overcome and one should try anew in order to save their marriage to expand their marriage to save their job to expand their job and so on and so forth the thing with the tree of swords is that one works very well when it's cornered and when it's it's placed under pressure and you should use that energy of the pressure that is putting that is put upon you either from the marriage or from the career you know to channel it and to do the things right this time around uh, the Tree of Swords as well points that you can take a lot of mental cruelty and, and, uh, um, and unrighteous uh, criticism here throughout the week. And the more people criticize you, the more people attack you, you know, the more people create a, uh, obstacles along the way of your behalf, the more determined you are to become to overcome those difficulties and to prove 
if you want to prove everybody wrong that they had wrong opinion about you and that you can truly make it. So the accompanied card of the Three of Swords, that is going to be the Hierophant and Formation is active, uh, active enemies here. Uh, and it seems that uh, with the Hierophant guys, uh, you pretty much have to keep up with your plan and not strain away despite what everybody is telling you because people will have different opinions. Every single person is going to have their personal opinion. But, op but opinions are like people's butts, you know, everybody has them, but uh, that doesn't mean that you have to take every single one of them. Uh, so uh, one more thing here with these couple of cards as well is that no one can tell you what the right actions are with these three. Um, you have to find them on your own. Pretty much you know them here with the Four of uh, Cups and the only thing that may obstruct you of uh, exerting those actions is the fear of the criticism from others and as well lack of mental contribution into this, uh, into this endeavor. In other words, being and yelling about provoking the thing and developing it to its very end, either to improve once again your career or to improve your relationship as well. Um, so all in all guys, uh, what we can see is that you may not face a lot of, product, uh, of, of productive support from the people around you one way or another. As a matter of fact, those jealous are going to be, uh, are going to display themselves straight away. So that is some sort of a circumstantial point of view upon the reading that maybe you erases throughout this week, 1st of April to 6th of April, are to uh, basically be disappointed of some friends of yours, which you thought that they are going to support you through whatever you through a whatever you are going through, but you will find out that as soon as you start improving yourself or doing something to improve yourself, these people are becoming hostile, uh, un unsubordinate, and so on and so forth. And that way, you are to realize that they are not actual friends, but they are feeding themselves from your despondency and poignancy as well. But the point here, uh, Aries, is, is that from this reading is that you have, I would say, a choice to make. Either you will be uh, uh, kind of like not displeased, but unsatisfied of the state that you are finding yourself at and you will do something to improve it, which you can, or you will say, you know, I am kind of comfortable at that point. I don't want to jeopardize anything. So I will stay where you are and your week is going to go completely, completely normal. Because uh, this is the last card here, Six of Pentacles. And um, uh, I am exerting this spread for quite a while. And I never had that... Um, case where the final card regards to if you follow or if you don't follow. It's, it's either way. Uh, so despite what you do at the end of the week for your races, things are going to go according to the flow. So it's kind of like you are to go with the current. But, and that's why you are to encourage to do something about it because it's going to be at the end. I don't know how to say it, but at the end, it, whatever you do is going to find its rightful place under the sun, should I say that way. The Six of Pentacles is pointing that at the end of the week as well, a lot of your problems are going to find resolution. Uh, and that resolution has to be as well exerted by you and by no one else. Because with the Six of Pentacles, should you use someone's help, that help the very best can only postpone the issue and cannot find a solution of it. But as well, the hierarchy is going to be defined at that point at that point or it's going to be restored so you are to consolidate and stabilize on your place into your career and on your place into your relationship and like i said you know you are to have a lot of room for creativity here as things are going to go as normal as they can the accompanied card that is going to be the six of pentacles and in this uh, in this particular time where everything falls into its place you're going to have that uh, extreme eye for the subtleties there and you are to know how things works and what is needed in order to push your things through uh, which you should attend with a great amount of conscientiousness 
you know, and uh, determined actions because at that point as everything falls into its place, guys, you will have the extraordinary opportunity to stir something which took a long time to prepare. So a, a big, big plan comes to fruition at the end of this week, um, April 1st to April 6th, 2019. So that was uh, your general tarot reading Aries. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, this was your general uh, tarot reading for Aries star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to relate, resonate in a different way. And it, to, it is going to relate into different things and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Aries. Aries, but if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give it a, a prediction for, for the future. Uh, that is the subject of a private reading and for such uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the live readings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.